Hi, my name is Vince. I'm an applications engineer with Hawkridge Systems. We get some questions about troubleshooting mates in an assembly, so we wanted to make this video to help out with that. I have an assembly here. It's a flashlight base. There's a few parts within this assembly, and I want to see where the mates are. First way I can do that is go to the feature tree, see the mates here, click the plus, and now I can see all the mates that are within the assembly. If I right click, this pulls up this menu. I can edit the feature, I can suppress the mate, and I can also zoom to selection. So that'll take me right to the mate wherever it is in the assembly and I can check it out there. In the tree, I can also see which two parts are mated to each other. The second way to identify mates in the assembly is to actually go to the part in the feature tree, click the plus to expand it, and that opens up this folder that is known as mates. If I click the plus again, now I can see all the mates associated with that part, so it narrows it down a little bit for me. The third way that I can identify a mate is to actually go in the graphics area, click on the part, right click, and now I see this view mates. If I click on that, now it shows me all the mates associated with that part and I can do the same thing actions as before. Edit the feature, suppress, zoom to selection. Now I want to show you how to create a mate. So what I have here is this switch. It's moving back and forth and I want to constrain that. So what I want to do is go to mate, click on the first face, click on the second face that I want to mate actually pulled up a coincidence mate but I want to make it a distance mate so going to change that to one millimeter click OK and now that switch is fully constrained can't be moved anymore also I can do a second mate again with that face on the switch and this face on the holder and I'm gonna try to do a coincidence mate it's gonna tell me there's an error I'm just gonna click OK close that out and now I can see all the red that's in the feature tree now that's telling me something's wrong click this plus you can see that there's an error here between these two mates the other way I can identify that there's something wrong is over defined down here in red I click on this and it actually pulls up the two mates that are in conflict and it makes it easy for me to identify within my assembly and fix that. That's it for troubleshooting mates within an assembly. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.